So here in the second part of the video, uh, continue the, the training, this uh, heart rate coherence, and you have the piece here, and this time I load different channels, you know, to match up with this uh, piece here, and uh, I don't have ECG, but if I can pause here, and I can, you know, um, ECG here, if I go OK, but I probably only have the piece here there, so, yeah, piece here is there, no, I think it load properly, oh, Yeah, but PC won't work out. So just if I have an idea, I can set up the PC before if you know doing the whole connect connect your channel and then connect your PC and then you show this off here. So that's good. Again, all all those options you get again to to heart rate training because this is not connect your respiration. Uh, um sensor yeah signal gonna be like this so and here it's um click there to check the data that you have segment computer statistics and here you have every time you want to you just go here and then click whatever PC you want and you have all this data here okay go back to the signal again and let's check some other uh, modalities skin conductance basic uh, skin temperature EMG and uh, with uh, ECG and respiration and just the skin conductance. Uh, now let's check this. Uh, two of them. So it's pretty good. Uh, let's load here the skin conductance temperature twice and let's see if it works. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You have the signal there. And again, you know, one's supposed to turn up and you can give it a threshold here. Threshold be there. Go minus, minus here. So add a threshold here, and you have threshold for both, you know. So you can do two trainings at once here, very easy again, and give your feedback that you prefer. So it's excellent for by feedback. Let's check some other modalities. Um, I don't have the sensor for uh, Exos, but if you do, it looks pretty good as well, you know. So wouldn't work this time because I don't have the, you know, the sensor itself. But uh, uh, multi modalities, so you have all those different options. That's really nice. Um, okay, let's move on. Therapy library. Training. You have all those stress control, cardiovascular, and every feedback. Let's quick have a quick view on each of them. So temperature. I like temperature training. It's one of my favorites. Um, I haven't done that training, oh, either that one, so I have something to explore in the future. Uh, stress control, aspiration, upper, uh, the trapezium, frontals, and so let's check this one out, you know, about. And every time you have this about, it gives kind of like a explanation. So it's another 
you know really good way to learn and see where you're gonna you know maybe place your electrodes experiment you know uh, see for yourself the results and again uh, really well done you know you can download session okay how to connect and uh, signal check see that's a uh, different options that you have there you know and uh, never being so easy to to do uh, neurofeedback and biofeedback so that's why I'm really excited to give to really give a new life to this uh, uh, software you know I want to uh, be nice if they add more screens and put more ideas into it I be showing you guys uh, again another one Theta Beta uh, EMG ECG I'm, s I'm load here the one session that plays ECG EEG there we go uh, let's see if it works I don't think it load properly let's see click twice yes there we go we have all the again nice and let's check here talking about theta beta ratio so it's uh, ADD and ADHD so they're talking about here as well we can read and uh, so excellent way to to learn more and practice and okay that's SMR again they always talk about it's really really nice design I plan to do some uh, training myself uh, and doing some reviews of some devices and I'm gonna be using the software and also the near sky to see if some you know device works or not like it says, uh, 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 mind machines and so forth, and uh, PMF, and you know, a few modalities and see how they work. How and I got a neurophone recently, so I want to check if the if your brain uh, changes after using neurophone or not. I'm gonna be posting on YouTube. So let's go here near the feedback. Yeah, I think I've seen this one. So let's check assessment library. S so test. Again, you have all those uh, options to do a test assessment. You must have some of the. You must have those uh, sensors for that. So you know you can click here start. And then a Vaseline recording again, excellent way. Maybe I go next time in more details on each of them. Uh, maybe I hooked up to the channel with myself and we see what my stress levels are and what's the results. What they, you know, that's gonna be another review for another day. Uh, and you have client database. Uh, screen browser I have some screens here I did so click twice and we load it yeah I haven't loaded the screen in ages so I have maybe to check another screen uh, can create your own screen as well so I haven't loaded any screens this after this new update but you can customize a lot of things here so let's go back to the home And you have 
loads of screens here for slow cortical potential as well. It's over there. Alright, so this is uh, the end of my quick review of this. So next time, I'm maybe I'm going to make another one with more details. Uh, one thing I think is missing here is uh, slow cortical potential training. Uh, I haven't seen the screens for that, but so far, so good. Uh, you know, again, another explanation there. Thank you very much, uh, and I see you guys next time.